Um, I just wanted to come on and do this video like really, really quickly. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm absolutely, I'm, I'm sweating. Um, so, um, just one minute with the eating when it's on, it's either too hot or you're cold. Um, the reason why I said just come on really quickly and do this video is, is just because I've got a hairy knee, you know. Um, is this year is like this this account this obviously me myself and bipolar Brenda account um and 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 the page and the speak out like Brenda campaign um I think what I just really really want to quickly say is I'm not going to waffle on because um I don't want to sound like a shock victim um is I I found I, I struggled with this illness for a very very long time and um I um. I think I think you know it, it kind of can make you feel quite ashamed sometimes if, and and very different to you to to everybody else. Like I know I think very different to, to how some people think, and I feel very different. And I think it it, it did hold me back. Um, it did hold me back for um, a long time actually. And uh, so I've got to help on me as well. And um, this time last year, um, just to put things into perspective, because I know that this year has been absolutely fucking horrendous for a lot of people, um, me included, you know, um, well, for the fucking whole world, so let's have it right, it's been fucking carnage, on it? Um, but this time last year, I, I was sat here um, in, in absolute fucking despair because I had a 95,000 word manuscript, totally unedited, not even formatted, because um, I didn't know how to format, I didn't really know how to use words to tell you the truth um, and I spent my full New Year's Eve like normally I'd sit and write my journal um, and, I, and that's what I'm about to do now, I don't really know where to fucking start um, but the point I want to make um, is to people, especially in this time time, and, and everything that's gone on is. Um, I feel like the world has been very bipolar, um, actually. <laughs> um, it's quite a funny thing to say, really, isn't it? But it is. And um, my point I'm trying to make is, um, is I I'm the most. I'm not. Um, I'm not academic at all. I'm really not. Um, I'm absolutely buzzing because I've learnt um, from my mate. Um, the other day, the difference between there and there, um, which I'm 32 in two weeks, and um, I didn't, I didn't know. And so the point I'm trying to make is, 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 is I think if you know what, if you want to do something, I think you should just go and do it and be like, fuck it, you know what, I'm doing it. Um, and like I say, this illness h held me back for a very, very long time. Um, and at times I've gone, oh my god, like why have I put everything into um, into a, into a book, like. Do you know what I mean? But and I never expected it to, to have the, the impact that it that it had. I, I genuinely I really I really fucking didn't, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the people that I've met through it this year, um, the the friends that I've made now that'll be friends for life. Um so I think what I'm trying to say is 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 despite, you know, and I think I said this on a post, um, you know, if you <clears throat> Life, life can be quite difficult. I think we've all realised that. But I think if you just hold on to something that you really enjoy doing and and forge forward, if that's the right word, go forward despite it, and just think, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna let it hold me back. I think you, you, you know, cliche because it's my little tagline, but I really do think you can turn the madness into magic. Um, I. If it, this would have been this time last year and somebody would have turned around to me and said, you'll, um, I would have done all what I've done in 12 months in a world pandemic, I would have been like, all right, mate, yeah, fucking hell. It would have been reading, been, re been reading The Secret, have you? Um, but, um, and, and also, I, I can I just add as well that it's not been something that I've done alone. I've had a lot of help from people, um, I've had a lot of help with people encouraging me and people helping me with with spellings and stuff like that, um, and and grammar. Yeah, that's something I still need to work on. 
but yeah don't, don't don't let it hold you back yeah definitely don't let it hold you back um because it it did and it still does me now like um I mean this time like I say this time I'll share I couldn't even use word and now I've learned how to use word um I know I know I know how to use final draft um I'm writing scripts which I this time I shared somebody would have said to me write a script would have been like well I actually did say to somebody no mate I don't write scripts and and it's just been it's just been a really really enjoyable process I've learned so much like I can't even put into words the amount I've learned and the people that I've been fortunate to work with like some of the some of the people that I've worked worked with and, and learned from like some of the best producers in the country do you know what I mean and um, and made friends with some of the most successful authors in the country you know what I mean and it's like um genuinely like not just very very good professional people but really 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 friends that you I would probably say now I'll be friends with for a very long time and I think um I think yeah I think I think it's made me more it's it's weird as well I don't know I think it makes you more acceptable of, of you yourself but also in regards to like your image and things like that as well um you know um they say don't they well I remember actually my drama teacher said to me um I remember saying to him once oh I don't know um I don't know what I'm supposed to change, what should I change, change the outside, da da da. And I always remember him saying, change the inside and the outside will change itself. And um, I obviously bared me, me, me all out in that book, do you know what I mean? And sometimes you do sit back and go, oh, I shouldn't probably put that. But I think because of that, that was like a first step of me accepting who I was on the inside. And now because of that, as the time and the months have gone on, uh, well, you've got not much choice, have you really, with beauty salons shut, you've had to kind of like, and I'm not very good with stuff like that. But I think because I started to accept myself inside, then I started to accept myself outside as well. Um, so yeah, I, I want to thank Bipolar UK um, because they've been a huge, massive support. Um, and and the, the people that have um, supported the Speak Out Like Brenda campaign, and and continue to to support it and i think it's really important especially at this time now and i mean i'm in the north obviously you can tell by the way i speak um you know going into tier four and stuff and, and you know my mum was in hospital my mum's been in hospital twice um and that was a really difficult time i went back on medication um so i think more now than ever that you need these charities and I, and I do really do think you do need them. And I do really want to use the Speak Out Like Brenda campaign next year um, as a platform and the work that I'm doing creatively as a platform to be able to hopefully push more, to be able to, to have more holistic treatments for people that suffer with mental health. Um, you know, I um, had a really interesting meeting with a... Um, a girl who's had cancer but also suffered with um severe clinical depression and she absolute inspiration but she was saying you know you get um vouchers for you know acupuncture and reiki and stuff like that she said but really when i used to have it for you know the vouchers uh, with a with a cancer that she said it would have actually benefited me a lot more if i would have had them with when i was turning up um suicidal to to a and e so it's it's there's a lot of movement I think that still needs to be done, um, and, and I, I want to be. I still want to be a part of of of, of doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna um, chat on. Um, but yeah, honestly, um, I think my main point that I would take from from this year was obviously just keep fucking going. But um, is yeah, even if you if even if you're not good at spelling or you're not good at you think something when you think oh what i do that but i'm not i'm not quite good at that or i don't know how to do that i think you if you if you want to do it you you'll be able to find a way and and there's there's always a way around things um so yeah um perhaps everybody that i, I don't want to name everyone because obviously like i'd be here till 12 o'clock and i need to start writing my journal and go into my own little world now but yeah everyone that supported the speak out like brandy campaign all the actors and actresses that have come on board um, the people that have, have, you know, come on as brand ambassadors and Bipolar UK giving me the platform every Thursday and all the guests that I've had on, 
Like, I've had so many incredible guests, like, honestly, I don't know how I'll top that next year. Um, but I'm looking to go more down of um, a lived experience route. I think I mentioned that um, on the last Bipolar UK Live. Um, so, yeah, um, on behalf of obviously myself um, and Brenda and, and the Speak Out Like Brenda campaign, um, obviously, I hope you all have a really, really good new year. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, um, I shall see you in the new year. But once again, thank you very much, like I say, um, for the support for Speak Out Like Brenda and for Bipolar UK.